everybody, Mark Spector the Comics, and I'm back. This time, with my top picks for New Comic Book Day. If you're interested in the picks, stay tuned for that intro. All right, so I'm back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. So this is going to be a rather short video, light week, um, good for your wallets, you know, because uh, I think next week's pretty big. If I'm not mistaken, I got to recheck. But um, so I just have three picks for you this week. Um, before we get into the three picks, if you haven't already seen the 800 official contest entry video, um, check it out. Pretty easy to enter. Um, you have till Saturday and then Sunday I'm going to do the pre-recorded video to see who the winners are. Um, so that's pretty much it. So for new comic book day this week on July 13, 2022, we got three picks. First pick this week is coming from Marvel. We got Moon Knight issue number 13. Uh, pretty funny. You know, new comic book day comes out on the 13th issue number 13. And it's also a full moon on the 13th. So what are the odds? Uh, <laughs> so I'm caught up on my Moon Knight reading. Um, this this uh, week's Moon Knight is going to be uh, first theme appearance of the Vampires of the Structure. Um, last issue was pretty good. It's been a, still a solid series written by Jed McKay. Artwork by Alessandro Capuccio. Um just going to keep on going with it, you know, and, until it starts to, you know, fade off. But it's been a great story. Um, Zodiac continues to be a great villain in the series. So I can't wait for issue 13. All right. Going on to pick number two this week. And uh, pick number two is going to be also a Marvel book. Um, it's going to be all Marvel this week, guys. Nothing really on DC that uh, caught my eye. Nothing really on the independence that caught my eye. So uh, for once, it's going to be all Marvel. Um, this is going to be, let's see, X, Eve of Judgment number one. This is going to be um, a one-shot tie-in to the Avengers versus X-Men versus Eternals event. Um, this is going to be written by Karen Gillan, artwork by Carlos Pacheco. Um, a few cool covers. Um, I'm not really going to be chasing any of the covers. It's just a one shot. I don't really expect too much, you know, speculative wise for the book. It's just going to be, you know, a cool tie in um, that's going to be leading into the next big event. So that's your number two this week. And then my top pick of the week um, is going to be, let's see, Daredevil number one. So um, it's going to be. A new star, I guess a new story arc that they're just starting off as a number one again. So, um, because it's going to continue with the same creative team of Chip Sadarsky and Marco Cicchetto. Uh It's going to be, let's see, a couple of covers um, this week. There's a uh, 1 in 25 done by Stegman, a 1 in 50 by Joe Quesada. A 1 in 100 by Peach Momoko, and a 1 in 200 also by Joe Quesada. Um, I'm just going to stick to the cover A. You know, there hasn't been too much of speculative stuff from Daredevil. It's just been a great read. The last series was absolutely fantastic. I don't know why they're starting over with a number one. Marvel and, and uh, DC tend to do this quite a bit when they get a lot of issues in. And... Um, the sales tend to drift down. They just do a number one. So <laughs> I don't get it. It's it's pretty much a money, you know, a money play that they do. But hey, you know, people buy it. Um, but, uh, you know, the last series was great. So I expect more of the same. Um, so that's my number one this week. Daredevil number one. Um, if you guys like that, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. Let me know what in the comments down below what you guys are interested in. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Until next time, March with the comics. Out.